hold it right there before you touch that heater control, how do you know you're not pumping a boatload of carbon monoxide into your airplane cabin? Hello everyone, I'm Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb and Aviation Consumer. And the fact is you don't really know if your heater or your muffler is compromised and allowing a little bit of CO to seep into the cabin. So you might want to consider one of these CO detectors which we'll take a look at in this brief video. And in some airplanes, no matter what you do, you're going to get a little bit of CO into the cabin. In an airplane like our Cub, it turns out to be a lot of CO. But as you can see, that really doesn't affect the hairy-chested tail dragger pilot. Hey, just kidding. Now, don't send me an Aunt Jane email complaining that I'm making light of the dangers of carbon monoxide. But do take a look at some of these gadgets. They could save your life. Now, there are a lot of CO detectors out there, and we're going to take a brief look at some of the ones we found. These are three portables that come out of the mining and industrial markets, but they're being sold for aviation as well. This one is from a company called BW Technologies, and it's called the Gas Alert Extreme. It's got very good low-level detection, and it's also got a loud alarm on it, so you really can't miss it. It's battery-operated and has good battery life. This is another good low-level detector from a company called Quest Technologies. Now, Quest has been at it for a while. They, they make uh, instruments for the industrial markets. Again, very good low-level detection with good alarming, good battery life. Unfortunately, this one's being discontinued, but Sporty still has a few of them less for $380. Now, you might reasonably ask, why not just buy an inexpensive home detector from the hardware store, throw it in the cockpit, and be done with it? Well, you could do that, but the problem with that is that home detectors don't typically do a good job of sensing low levels of CO. And you really need that because you can begin to feel symptoms at as few as 10 parts per million. So you want that low level sensing. Now, one CO detector that does do good low level sensing is the CO Experts. This is sold by Aeromedics for about $180. This has very good low-level sensing and a good alarm system on it, 9-volt battery that lasts for quite some time, and it's practical to put it in the cockpit, so it's not a bad choice. Now, if you have the budget for it, you might want to consider a panel mount. There's a company called CO Guardian that makes a line of these. They sent us a couple to try out. This one is interesting. Uh, it's called the uh, Aero 452. It combines a pulse oximeter, which you can see here, with a CO detector. And that, can be, uh, that data can be output on this dedicated display, or you can feed it into a, an EFIS like a, a Garmin G1000 or some of the popular uh, MFDs out there. Has very good low level sensing and very good alarming. Now we've got a cylinder of laboratory grade uh, carbon monoxide here. So we're going to take some of these detectors and put them in the chamber and see how well they work. You're about to see detector concerto in B flat. I placed some of these detectors uh, in our chamber here and we're going to expose it to some CO. Uh, worth noting is that each of these de detectors has a slightly different threshold for detecting carbon monoxide. They are all relatively low level detectors, but some can be set with customized detection levels and others come from the factory with uh, settings already uh, set up. Now we've got some uh, laboratory grade carbon monoxide and worth noting is that I've been testing for two and a half days so I've used this bottle about a dozen times for various tests and I've only filled it up once. So that tells you how sensitive these things are. So I'm going to expose these to a little bit of carbon monoxide and we'll see what happens. As you can see the alarms start going off right away and uh, these are still at uh, relatively low levels. So much for the electronic type detectors. As you can see, they really work pretty well. You've probably seen these uh, inexpensive patch type detectors, and for under five bucks, you might assume that they can't possibly work. Well, you'd be wrong. They actually work pretty well. We tested a few of them here in our chamber, and as you can see, this one turned black in the presence of CO, just as, as it's supposed to, compared to the fresh patch, which retains this sandy color. Now, if you're really concerned about CO in the cockpit, you really ought to invest in one of these sophisticated electronic models. For under 200 bucks, you can get reliable protection from CO in the cockpit. For a detailed comparison of CO detectors, take a look at the February 2011 issue of Aviation Consumer at aviationconsumer.com. And for more information and prices on these detectors, see aircraftspruce.com, aeromedics.com, and sporties.com. 
I'm Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb and Aviation Consumer. Thanks for watching.